Hello, my name is Christian Cavalet and I own more than 12,000 unique Pepsi cans. Come with me. The basement is filled with shelves I made to store all the cans and they are divided by country. For example, in this area we have the European and on this side we have the Asian cans. And they are among the country, they are chronologically ordered from the old one to the newest one. Pepsi Cola was founded at the end of 19th century by a pharmacist. Actually, it was sold as a remedy for stomach disease. Therefore, the name Pepsi from Pepsin, which is an enzyme contained in our stomach. This is uh, the very first Pepsi can ever made in 1948. It's called it Cone Top because of its shape and it's closed with a crown cork cap because at that time cans were filled on the bottle production lines. And then during the 60s, uh, they changed to almost the size we know nowadays. This is a prototype Pepsi can made in the 60s. It's called it Swirl Can because of the shape of the can itself. This is another limited edition Pepsi can. It's the half liter resealable can made in the middle of the 80s. This is the so-called space can. It's a 1985 can made in the USA. It's a reproduction of the can that was sent in the space on, on the space shuttle. It has a very special and unique pressurized system just to allow the people to drink the soda without uh, gravity. I received this box uh, with Pepsi cans from another collector from Canada a few days ago. So we are now going to open it and check what's inside. Okay, very well packed. Some old cans uh, from the late 70s, early 80s from Canada. It was a very strange opening system they developed just in Canada, uh, where you push a button and the other part opens so you can drink it. Very nice old can from the early 60s. Wow. Bank top. Uh, they were normally made for collecting money for charity or event like that. Uh, and good to know, I have two. Another push button. And this is a more recent can from the choreography logo. This was developed in 2008, uh, stayed for a couple of years. And this is the diet version. This is the European section and in particular the Spanish section. And among them uh, we have the oldest set uh, made in Europe uh, with the superheroes and the aviones. And those are among the most valuable sets uh, Pepsi made in the 80s. When I buy cans, uh, I normally open them from the bottom using a can opener tool. The reason why I do that is to leave the tab completely closed. Uh, this one is uh, my favorite flavor. It's a wild cherry Pepsi from US. I also drink Coca-Cola. Uh, I like it too. Normally Pepsi is uh, sweeter, uh, mm, delicious, uh, while Coca-Cola is a little bit more sparkling. I also collect Coke cans because I use them to trade uh, with other friends collecting the red brand, uh, like Gary Fank from Canada who is owning the Guinness World Record for the largest collection of Coca-Cola cans. I know him since a lot of time. We even met in Hong Kong. Uh, he's Canadian, I'm Italian, we met in, in Hong Kong. We were just sitting uh, on the street, uh, enjoying street food, and that's how I got this can. Uh, that's one thing good about Paxi. Paxi actually uh, really you know, appreciate the collector and actually produce this can when Chris first break the record and we normally trade cans to help each other. That's the way I like uh, uh, trading cans with other collectors. It doesn't matter what they really collect. Uh, um, trading is a way to establish a new relationship, to know more people and to grow our collections. There is a reason why they call me King of Pepsi, but now I have to go back cataloging my cans. Goodbye. Now I gotta crack open this Pepsi can. Not too bad, you know, still have the, the cola taste. Now I have to um, tell you my feeling about this Coca-Cola can. That's the real feeling of uh, cola.